Our team coverage continues now with News 4 transportation reporter Adam Tuss. He is live in Alexandria. So Adam, one of the major concerns is how is everyone going to get in and out of this arena? We know there's a metro stop there, but can, can they handle the traffic here? Uh, yeah. <laughs> People simply probably won't come here. And you look at nearby Route 1. Guys, you know, 25,000 vehicles a day use this stretch of road right here. And this is it. This is the only main road that would go into the arena nearby GW Parkway. That's about 50,000 vehicles a day. And to this point, there have been no real concrete transportation plans announced. While all the details of this plan get ironed out, you have two jurisdictions saying different things about the traffic situation here. First, Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin. So I, I believe the plan is it's going to get better. And then D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser. That traffic is notorious, so people know about it. Well, this national landing area between Arlington and Alexandria is getting some big transportation upgrades, like new bridges, better time traffic signals, and fast-moving buses with their own lanes. Governor Yunkin touting the progress here. And there's substantial resources that are going to be brought to bear to open up the area. Second of all, we've already had major advancements in multimodal uh, access, like the opening of the Metro stop, which is just right here. You can see it right here. On top of that, the new VR, the, the new VRA station is going to be right up here. The rail authority is going to stop right up, right up the road, about a mile up the road. And on top of that, there's a big plan to open up access to all the major thoroughfares. $200 million in transportation improvements were announced as part of this plan, along with a large underground parking garage. But one thing that does stand out is that the Potomac Yard Metro Station will be the only station that really handles the crowds here. In the district, even if you didn't want to go to Gallery Place, there were still multiple metro stations that you could use and then walk to Capital One Arena. Mayor Bowser. We know how important Metro is in our transportation infrastructure is. Uh, and we know, we believe that we have the best setup to move, you know, 20,000 or 30,000 people in and out uh, 80 to 100 times a year. Um, and so I think that will be a big part of the conversation. Transportation sources with direct knowledge of this project tell News 4 any major transportation plans are still in the very early stages of development. Yeah, guys, and I can tell you some of the transportation sources I've been talking to, they are not sold on this plan working here. Another thing that you should know, a lot of the traffic that would be coming off of, say, like a 395 would have to go through only like two or three neighborhood streets to get over here. So all of that traffic that would be coming off of the highways, it's going to go through some of these densely populated neighborhoods as well. So some serious transportation planning is going to need to be done to make sure that this all works out.